Moving on to the Chicago Bears, Cole Komet. Uh, Andrew, you say he's the easiest tight end breakout to call in all of fantasy football. His ADP is tight end 15. Komet's eighth-ranked route participation and seventh-ranked target share, 17%, from 2021 hardly align with his fantasy production. No tight end finished with more fantasy points under expectation, negative 36.6, than Notre Dame product Cole Komet. That designation is a sign of Komet that he is due for a fantasy breakout. It signaled uh, as much for guys like Zach Ertz and Dawson Knox, who scored fewer points than expected in 2020 before contributing in fantasy this past year. Both tight ends finished 2021 as a top 10 option in points per game. In addition, he has the requisite size and athleticism, supporting an 87th percentile height, 88th percentile vertical jump, and 89th percentile broad jump. Komet checks off all the boxes for a tight end breakout, and that's exactly why I, you, Andrew, <laughs> have him ranked four spots ahead of ADP. So I guess my question for you, Andrew, on this was, do you think there's a case to take guys with a better environment, maybe QB, ahead of him? Say like Irv Smith or Robert Tunyon. We just got done talking about the Packers a little bit. Um, or do you think his necessity to his offense, given what they haven't done in Chicago, gives him the clear edge over those guys? I think in the range where you have to take, because we're talking about late round tight ends at this point, like this right. is where you're looking at. So I'm willing to take a guy that has the role that could turn into a top five tight end. Like Robert Tanyan, the only way he's going to become a top five tight end is if he scores 12 touchdowns, like, like basically what he did two years ago. And that's definitely still in his range of outcomes, similar with Irv Smith. But Cole Komet, his role on this offense as the clear-cut tight end one is so clear. And the only reason last year he wasn't able to really get anything done from his, his from his role was because Jimmy Graham was always out there, you know, in the red zone stealing touchdowns. And that's why Cole Komet can really never get over the hump. And you mentioned offensive, offensive environment. You know, I think Justin Fields is a good quarterback. Like, I, mm. I, I don't know why that's become, like, suddenly a hot take because the Bears, like, didn't draft, like, a bunch of wide receivers or sign a bunch of free agent receivers, even though they have Darnell Mooney and they have Cole Komet. And it reminds me a lot of a certain other mobile quarterback that got a lot of criticism. His Going into his second year, Lamar Jackson, he had Marquise Ooh. Brown and Mark Andrews. Those were his top two options. And what happened? Oh, he won MVP. So I, I just there you think go. Justin Fields, Fields is... wins MVP, says Andrew Erickson. <laughs> Hey, man, like the crazier things have happened. I'll say yep, that much. Yeah, yep. But I think that Komet is, you know, entering his third year and he has a opportunity for targets. Like that's the biggest thing with these tight end breakouts is you have to have an opportunity to get targets in your offense. And Cole Komet has that because it's just Darnell Mooney and some 25-year-old guy that they thought they drafted that they thought was a good pick. So <laughs> I'm going with Cole Komet. Right here. You made it to the end of the video. Our algorithm overlords tell us you need to subscribe now.